friends and uh, many Kenyans of goodwill. I extend my congratulations to you on your appointment, uh, approval by parliament, and uh, subsequently on you assuming office today. I am very confident that uh, this appointment is well deserved because of um, the experience that I know both of you have in public service. I am very confident uh, that you will discharge your responsibilities with integrity and with the best of your ability in the service of the nation. I promise to support you, to assist you, because your success is going to be the success of the government of Kenya and our nation as well. Um, to Dokas, um, you come into office as a very critical moment in, uh, in our nation. I will advise you to carefully read the manifesto upon which this government was elected. We have three fundamental issues that we consider important in the service of the people of Kenya. Um, the Office of the Attorney General has been left behind in the modernization and reform process. The judiciary is well ahead of the Office of the Attorney General in terms of uh, capacities that are necessary for that office to discharge its advisory role and legal mandate to the government and to the people of Kenya. You may be aware that uh, recently your immediate predecessor um, has worked with us, uh, and I'm happy that he's here, has worked with us in uh, reorganizing the legal framework that uh, underpin the Office of the Attorney General to give it sufficient latitude, human capital, and other necessities for that office to function efficiently. I am very confident with your experience, having, been, having grown up from the ranks. Uh, and I think you become the first person to grow through the ranks at the Attorney General Office and become the legal head of uh, that institution. And therefore, I have no doubt in my mind that you have what it takes to get that office to appropriate its place in the service of the nation. You are aware also that um, there is need to expand the footprint of the Office of the Attorney General to take care of litigations and uh, legal requirements in different parts of the country. That again will be another step that you may consider and uh, we will be working with you to make sure that people access justice on time and government gets legal representation to protect the greater interest of the people of Kenya. Um, representation that is made available to government is important in protecting public interest and public good. We have huge awards against government running into, I think, six, seven hundred billion. There has been occasion by underrepresentation of government in many cases. Sometimes it has been occasioned by compromise 
of um, government representation. It is very important, Madam Attorney General, that you work with all the other agencies to make sure that that responsibility and legal representation to both government and the people of Kenya is timely, is robust, and is appropriate. Um, many people have said you become the first woman in, the, in independent Kenya to be Attorney General. Um, this appointment is not just about you being a woman. It is about you being competent. I am very confident that on account of confidence and ability to deliver, you deserve to serve in this position. And I'm very confident and uh, clear that you will not only make us as a country proud, but also you will demonstrate what has always been said, that what a man can do, <laughs> maybe a woman can do better. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure many people will be watching. To my sister Beatrice, uh, congratulations. Uh, I know you very well. I think I've known you for 20 years. And uh, I know that you are an astute leader. Um, you have my confidence as you serve uh, the people of Kenya in your new responsibility. As has been said, you know, East Africa is uh, the biggest market of Kenyan products. The East African community is the most progressive community in our continent. And uh, a lot will be expected of you and your colleagues uh, from the other partner states as you shepherd and steer this community to harness the collective potential of the 300 million people in the East African community for the progress and the expansion of business, enterprise, investment, and the unlocking of the tremendous potential that exists in this region. As the world moves towards regional blocks and um, investment, entrepreneurship, business takes lead as the new um, tools of governance and informing political orientation. So you have a responsibility not just to us as uh, Kenya, but to our brothers and sisters in the East African community as well. As you've been told, you will also be an ex-official member of the, Pan of the East African Legislative Assembly that also gives you opportunity to engage with our legislators and to formulate policy uh, on how we make progress as ESC. You are aware that already three countries have signed on to the East African Federation. Uh, the fourth country is on the way, and therefore it's an area of interest for us as a country because we've already uh, taken that step. And I will be looking forward to working with you and our East African legislative team to prosecute the Kenya position in the greater interest of the East African community. So again, to you great ladies, congratulations, my very best wishes, and I look forward to working with you. Asante Nisana.
Great. Pongezi. So next. Sir, with your permission, we'll request that we have a brief photo moment. Each individual that has been sworn in will have.